To graph this equation, let's first rewrite the equation in the slope-intercept form. In the slope-intercept form, the left side of the equation has only y, and the right side of the equation has the term with x, as well as the term without any variable. So, to rewrite the equation in the slope-intercept form, we are going to solve the equation for y. To do this, we are going to eliminate 4x on the left side by subtracting 4x. Then, the left side of the equation is simplified to minus 3y. And let's rearrange the right side of the equation. Now, we are going to eliminate minus 3 in front of y by dividing both sides by minus 3. Then, this can be simplified to 4 thirds x minus 4. Now, let's compare the equation with the slope-intercept form. In the slope-intercept form, m in front of x represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. So, by comparing this equation with the slope-intercept form, we can see that the equation has a y-intercept of minus 4. Also, we can write the y-intercept as an ordered pair. So, let's plot the y-intercept in a coordinate system. Also, the equation has a slope of 4 thirds. Since the slope of a line is expressed as the ratio of the rise to the run, this tells us that the line of the equation has a rise of 4, and a run of 3. Now, let's count the rise and run in a coordinate system, starting at the y-intercept. Up 4 units, and then write 3 units. Then, let's draw a line through these points and put arrows on both ends of the line. And this is the line of 4x minus 3y equals 12. 